Now, theatres are closed and performance is cancelled, but an out-of-work director has defied the odds to create a sellout production. Stephanie Kempson from Bristol has created a murder mystery show that you can enjoy from the safety of your home. She's sold thousands of tickets. Tracy Miller reports. There's been a murder, but who done it? You must decide from the safety of your sofa. He seems to have been struck on the head repeatedly with a blunt object. It's about an hour and a half long. We give a little break in the middle. Um, you get to meet five brilliant improvisers um, who kind of weave this intriguing epic tale. Our first one's set in a circus, and then our second one is set in Antarctica on a kind of British Antarctic base. Detectives, we need your help. <laughs> on three nights a week, 70 households pay for a front row seat in their own living rooms. The show has been seen across the country and across the world. Every show is different because of the audience, and it is the audience that makes the show, which I think seeing people connecting from across the country and abroad, fostering that sense of community, which I think great theatre is about. Peter Baker plays Trigger in the West End show of Only Fools and Horses, but while it's been put on hold, he's hung up his broom and not only performed in the murder mysteries, but written them. This set looks quite wonderful, but this is my living room. So <laughs> it's quite, I have decorated my living room to look like a ship. And in her garage in Bradley Stoke, another of the actors has created a stage for the murder mysteries. The, the prose being that I can't hear the children being put to bed. Um, <laughs> and sometimes there's a Tesco delivery happening outside the other side of the garage door, so that's always interesting. <laughs> It's great, and what's really special about it is that you've got these people on your screen in front of you that have all paid to see the performance, and some are sitting there in their pyjamas, some have completely uh, gone over the top with deer stalkers and pipes. And... What kind of people are you? Having sold nearly 5,000 tickets, it's a runaway success. Tracy Miller, BBC Points West. <laughs>